back at it again with another solo vlog session, sitting in the familiar spot in front of the guitars. Today's a weird day. I got a guitar that I ordered seven months ago in the mail, and it was the wrong model. I was prepared to make a video about it, and they sent me the wrong model. Um, it's from a company that I trust, so I think everything is going to be okay. It's just kind of a bummer. After waiting seven months, I ordered the guitar on my birthday uh, seven months ago, and I got it to the day seven months later, right before Christmas, and it's wrong. So kind of in a weird mood today. Not sad, um, just disappointed, you know. But I wanted to continue and share a vlog with you as we continue to put our content out on our on our normal schedule, which is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So even though Friday is Christmas, we recorded the content for Friday weeks ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it put into video and stick it online on Friday. But anyways, I wanna continue with our talk about cultivating, creating, growing, and just taking care of your creativity. And I went through, you know, your heart and your soul and your mind and what you feed that and I went through you know what you what you do with your body your physical activity and all of these pieces I feel are very important and so another important piece is what you actually feed your body sorry for the tasty sugary tempting thumbnail for this but the the girls, my daughters, and my wife, they made that gingerbread house, and I thought it was really neat, and I took a picture of it and wanted to use it for the thumbnail, but um, we don't normally eat food like that. And I wanted to talk a little bit about food. I could make tons and tons and tons of content about just food and my journey with food and how I went through life not caring about my diet choices. And then I went through life caring too much about my diet choices. And then I went through life eating too much. And then I went through life eating too little. And then I've gone through different stages of this. And I feel like I'm finally at a spot where I'm very healthy with what I'm doing and what I have going on. And so um, I just kind of wanted to share that with, with you, with the internet, with the world, as I continue to have these solo talks about taking care of your creativity because I really feel like it's important. I think it's an area overlooked just in general, but especially with creatives, a lot of times you get hunkered down and in, into productive mode and, and you forget to take care of yourself. You forget to drink water. You forget to eat. I spend hours sitting with my guitar some days, some evenings, and just zone out, forget, skip a meal, skip skip food. I do it on the weekend all the time. I skip a meal. I skip drinking water for hours and it's just not really good for your health. And ultimately we have to remind ourselves, at least I have to remind myself, is that food is in what you put in not only to your soul, not only into your heart, not only into your mind, but it's also what you actually put in your body with, with what you eat affects all of that as well. And again, to be very clear here, it's not just what you feed your soul and your heart. It's not just that. It's not just what you do with your body as far as exercise and how you help your body, you know, have new blood and, and oxygen and nutrients. And it's not just what you feed your body as far as fruits and vegetables and, and, healthy, and healthy eating. It's these things combined that create a healthier human. And when you have a healthier human, you have healthier creativity, you have more energy, you can think clearer, you can, you can be free from, you know, your, the stranglehold sometimes emotions can put on you because, you know, we, when your body's under stress, you just don't function as well on it if, with anything. And that's what you're ultimately doing to yourself when you're malnourished. And one of the misconceptions that we have in the modern world is that being malnourished means that you should be you know, um, starving or that, you know, you're, you're, you're really close to death's door. Now, while that is true, and that could be a malnourished person or usually is a malnourished person, malnourished person can also be a person that just has a lot of calories that don't do you any good or just nothing that does you any good, period. 
and we fill our bodies with too many processed foods and too many processed drinks and all of these different radical things that, that we put in ourselves and, and we don't regulate. And over time that builds up and, and creates stress in your body. And when your body is stressed because it doesn't have enough vitamin A, B, C, D, it won't function. And when, and when it, it sends out stress signals, it's trying to keep you alive. Your body's main goal is to keep you alive. And so it's sending out these stress signals and it wants you to, it wants you to go find nutrition. And we learn how to suppress that and mask that or just not pay attention to it. And we forget or we just ignore it. And we've trained ourselves to ignore it. And we, when we push it off on something else and we reach for pills, we reach for drugs, we reach for uh, alcohol, drinks, we reach, we think, oh, I just need to take a nap. Sometimes that might be true, but maybe you didn't drink enough water. Maybe you didn't eat enough fruits and vegetables. Maybe you didn't, maybe you did eat fruits and vegetables, but maybe you didn't eat enough. One of the weird things that I struggle with is, is that I'm not a massive human, but I'm six foot tall and I weigh 200 pounds. Uh, some of that comes from lifting weights. <laughs> and, you know, I have to eat almost 3000 calories a day, which uh, honestly is difficult for me to do, especially if I wanted to be healthy to maintain the size that I have. It's a decent amount of food, especially healthy food. And um, that's an area I struggle with is eating enough of the right things. And if you don't eat enough of the right things, your body will feel like it's struggling, like it's like it needs. It, yeah, it, that's what it is. It needs and you're not giving it. And sometimes we have the tendency to either solely focus on food as pleasure or deny ourselves food. Um, because we want to be fit or give this appearance of fitness and really what we need to refocus ourselves is are we eating enough of the right things now with all of that being said i could create endless amounts of content from now until the cows come home about diet choices and as a matter of fact i'm gonna quit using the word diet just about food choices i don't like the word diet anymore i don't want to suggest you go on a diet I don't want to go on a diet. I'm done with diets. I don't like that mindset. It's temporary. It comes with all of this negative feedback pre-baked into it. I'm done with it. So just healthy eating, correct eating. It doesn't mean that you have to eat less. It doesn't mean that you have to eat more. It means you have to eat enough to support what you do on a daily basis. And you have to eat enough of the right things. So what do I suggest? I'm going to lay out a couple of tips for you here. And I'm gonna keep them as brief as possible because I'm already at eight minutes and I, and I like to keep these things close to 10 minutes long. What, what I would recommend doing is if you don't have a healthy relationship with food, don't do anything dramatic with your eating right off the bat. Don't, it's just destined to fail. I've been there and done that so many times. You will be destined to fail if you do anything too dramatic and drastic with your eating and your workout. So start small. Add in something like walking. Okay, what's kind of the food choice version of that? Start replacing a few of your snacks with raw fruit or raw vegetables. Um, then work your way up to replacing one of the meals that you eat a day. Say you eat four meals a day, like a breakfast, maybe a snack, uh, lunch, and then dinner, and maybe something for dessert. So that was like five, right? So I said four, but let's, let's work at the five. You got breakfast, a snack, lunch, dinner and, and a dessert, right? So maybe you, maybe you replace your dessert with, you know, um, some yogurt and berries. I love that frozen mixed berries, mix it up with yogurt. It's really tasty, right? Or maybe, maybe if you don't want to do that, right? Maybe you change breakfast for something that's a little healthier choice for breakfast. You know, maybe a whole grain bagel, um, you know, something like that. Maybe that's when you eat your yogurt and berries. Maybe, maybe, maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe, maybe you're too pressed for time or, or you just don't really want to sacrifice breakfast. Maybe you do your snack. Maybe your midday snack, you, you do fruits and some raw vegetables instead or a, or a healthy smoothie that you can make. Okay, maybe it's your lunch. Maybe it's your dinner. You get the idea. Work on replacing just a few things and slowly start building in that habit of the good, healthy eating. And that's how I recommend doing this. Now I've done it in all sorts of ways. I've done it in just brutal, all in, you know, just straight 
powering through some ridiculous eating plan and just failed. I've succeeded at that too. And it's just really not a great way to approach this. So my advice here at the end is just work on replacing something, one snack choice, one meal, um, and then eventually it'll be two snack choices and then two meals. And then eventually it'll be all your meals and all your snacks. Six, eight, nine months from now have been fully replaced by healthy, life-giving, healing choices. And that's ultimately what you want to go for. And so what are those things? The outside of the grocery store. My mother shared this advice with me. It is not unique to her, but this is who I heard, first heard it from. And that was that you shop the perimeter of the grocery store the produce, the meats, the dairy, and then you get out of there. You don't go to the center aisles and buy the stuff in the boxes and the prepackaged stuff. So that's where you start. Buy some apples, buy some bananas, buy some oranges. It's winter, oranges are in season, delicious. Buy some oranges, um, buy some frozen berries. Uh, sometimes the frozen fruits and vegetables are cheaper because they're frozen and they keep longer. You need to save money. Um, you know, add, add different leaner meats, you know, the ground turkey or, or, you know, lean chicken breasts or lean ground beef and, or, you know, maybe, maybe cut milk out of your diet or cut cheese out of your diet. Or if you do milk, maybe switch to a milk alternative or, or use a lower fat percentage milk. You get the idea, right? But I just want to encourage you that believe it or not, I believe it is, this is an, a very important component on being a very creative and powerfully creative person because the healthy body, the body that's soul is taken care of, heart is taken care of, body is taken care of through exercise and your food choices can help heal you and support all of this, that you can be free from any unnecessary stress, strife and strain that you can create on yourself knowingly or most likely unknowingly. So I hope this helps you. I have plenty more to say about this. I will definitely come back and revisit some of this content. But for now, I'm going to let you go. Take it easy. Peace.